Good morning, I'm Rachel Hickson and it's time for a message of hope. And so this week I'm going to go on a journey with you and we're just going to look at all change, handling life seasons. And I don't know what you feel about change, but all around us there is change. We're having to change the way we educate, change the way we work, change the way we shop, change the way we do church and life and relationships. And I believe that that's quite stressful. But in the midst of it, God has a word that can encourage us, strengthen us and hold us. We've just been through Pentecost Sunday and we've just allowed the grace of God to come upon us, fill us, overwhelm us and refocus us so that we can carry a message for this season. And I believe that God has got a word for us just to put fresh bread in our lives so that we can stand and handle all that we can see around us and not be overwhelmed, but be those who overcome. So today, Monday, I want to just look at, I do not change. I wonder what your reaction to change is. When you hear change, are you someone that immediately loves the adventure? You're curious, you, it doesn't frighten you at all. In fact, you look for change. Or well, maybe you're a bit more like me. I'm not brilliant, actually. When people say change, I'm usually thinking a bit sentimentally, oh, what I don't want to change, which is quite interesting considering I'm a prophetic person and prophetic people are like to be there changing. I can often sense it. I can often acknowledge that things need to change. I can see the patterns and I'm aware of it all. But when I actually come to that process of change, I still find it quite intimidating. So I'm one of these people with a weird combination, the prophetic that is a foreseer, can see it all happening, but then when I come to practically live it, part of me goes, oh, I don't really know if I like change. So what can we do? How can we handle it better? Let's look at God. Because the funny thing is, as I began to look at God, I found even in God, there was this slight contradiction. We see a God, I do not change. But then we also see a God who seems to love change, part of seasons, etc. But here is God who says, actually, I do not change. Numbers 13, verse 8. And Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. He doesn't change. Numbers 23, verse 18 says this. God is not a man so he does not lie. He is not human, so he does not change his mind. Has he not spoken? Will he not fail to do it? Has he not promised? Can he not now carry it through? In Psalm 55 verse 19, God who is enthroned from of old, he does not change. He will hear them and humble them because they have no fear for God. And so here we see through scripture, God who does not change. God who is constant, consistent, who keeps an alignment and a plumb line, who's ever present, ever knowing, ever steady, ever, ever constant, doesn't move, doesn't change. What does that do to me? When I hear God say, I don't change, I don't move. And when everything's shifting and blowing, actually, I find it fills me with a great sense of, oh, there's security. God, there's reliability. God, I can be confident in you. I can trust you. You see, God says, I haven't changed my mind. My word is here. My promises are here. I can do what I said. I don't change. I'm absolutely absolutely constant and I know when I am sensing and smelling that sense of oh everything's shifting that knowledge of God that is totally constant and totally consistent gives me a reference for life I find that I know where I am I know whose I am and then I have a greater confidence that I know what I can do isn't it incredible that this is this God who says I do not change. But what's even more incredible to me is this God who does not change is totally committed to me. 
He's given himself to me and he wants to help me. James chapter 1 verse 17 says this, Every good and perfect gift is from above. It comes down from the Father of heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. And that means that God is not fickle in his affections. You know, you're not God's favourite one day and God's forgotten tomorrow. God does not change. He is your father and he has a supply line that comes from heaven to you. And it never shifts. It never changes. There isn't a good day and a bad day in the economy of God. God always has a supply line to you. He doesn't shift like changing shadows. This God is for you. He is a father that's consistent and ready to help you. We then read, and we've been studying the Holy Spirit in John chapter 14, verse 16. One of the characteristics of the Holy Spirit is that he doesn't change in his relationship with us. Just listen to this, John 14, verse 16. And I will ask the Father, and he will send you a helper who will never leave you. The Holy Spirit is the one who will be with you and lead you into all truth. And so this consistent God, I do not change. I hold course. My word is constant. I hold my standards. There is a plumb line. I'm constant towards you. There isn't shift and shadows. I give you the Holy Spirit and he will never leave you. You are never abandoned. You are never forsaken. You're never orphaned. God does not change. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8 puts it like this. And in fact, as I looked at this, the psalmist David again and again says, Oh God, you never forsake me. Oh God, you are always with me. Moses, right through his five gospels, and he had a hard time, kept saying, and this is the God, remember, who is constant. He never forsakes you from a thousand generations. Many of us have been singing that song of the blessing. You know, the Lord bless you and keep you from a thousand generations. Let his favour be upon you. And then we read the Apostle Paul again in his um, epistles. He writes, you know, God is with you. Hebrews writes, he will never forsake you. And so you see, God's not only constant within himself, he's constant towards us. We read here Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. The Lord himself goes before you and he will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. So do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. Come on. Whatever is going on in your world, whatever is shifted, whatever this new normal looks like, God does not change. And I believe that we can just lean into that absolute consistent goodness of God. He is for you and he hasn't changed towards you. He's everlasting and always there for you. He is there to bless you, to give towards you. I felt God say this to me as I prayed for you today. He said, tell them, Rachel, just because your circumstances have changed, that does not mean that your life is different. Let me say it one more time. Just because your circumstances have changed, it does not mean your life will. In other words, that life message, the life story, the life journey that God has direct for you, directed for you it does not change God is able to make a way when there seems to be no way God's promises to you are still yes and amen God's ability to perform his word in your life guess what it's still the same he still loves you he will still provide for you he still has an absolute purpose for you you know his word never fails. I will never leave you. So right now, if you're feeling lonely, isolated, overwhelmed, no, he never changes. He will provide for you. You know, he stored up all his riches. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. Those riches in heaven never have an economic downturn. 
He still has a supply for you. He still has a purpose. I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you, give you a future, give you hope. Nothing's changed. I am God and I do not change. Let me just finish with this verse before I come and pray for you. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God says to you, never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. Right there, we see almost this playoff. If we get caught up in anxiety and worry about things, money, it says keep your lives free of the love of money. Be content with what you have. Just keep looking to heaven. I am God and I don't change and I'm here for you. So Father, today, we thank you that even though so many things have changed, you are constant. And we put our feet on that rock of absolute constant security. And we just want to ask you, help us trust you. Your word has never changed. And just because our circumstances have changed, we believe you, God. Our life mandate has not changed. Our life promises has not changed. Our life supply has not changed. You are with us and you are for us. So I pray right now you will impart and fill us with such a knowledge of your precious love for us in Jesus' name. And we all say amen. Well, join me tomorrow as we continue to look at this pathway of change.